I just finished my first AP test ever. I cared probably a negative amount about the test, which means that I didn't do very awesome. But as a reward for my minimal effort, I think that I deserve to make myself some cupcakes. I've been thinking about this for weeks. You know, baked on my list, like those cute little tiny cupcakes. Like I'll put a picture. I've decided that I'm gonna make baked by Carissa. My own cute little tiny cupcakes. This is really fucking hard to cut. Oh my god. I feel like I'm being watched. I had a game plan. Okay, my game plan was that I was gonna get everything ready and then when I'll get to like mixing colors and the fun stuff, then we can have a sit down, you know? Unfortunately, I run into two issues. First issue is that I realized I was wearing the same shirt as I wore in my last video and I came into the same problem with my therapist in which like I kept wearing the same outfit and I'm so scared that people are gonna think I only own one shirt. So I changed my shirt. I own two shirts. Um, second issue, more pressing issue. I'm basically done with having my wet and dry ingredients and I need two eggs. You know how many I have? I have one, I have one egg. So I feel like I heard that applesauce can be used as a substitute. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about like sitting down and crying, but no. I'm a big kid. I can get over this. So I'm gonna like Google egg substitutes and I think I can like figure it out, you know? I was thinking briefly that it, this could be like vegan, but it's not going to be. I already put butter, so. That's too bad. Oh! Applesauce. Okay. Why am I out of breath? Okay. Applesauce, whatever. Okay, for each whole egg used, you can substitute one of the following. A quarter cup, four tablespoons of applesauce or bananas. What was it, four tablespoons? That's kind of a lot. It'll be fine. I mean, now that we're here, I think we should start getting to, to the chats. Everything I think about is like so melodramatic. So like, that's what we're talking about. I have this like theory that teenagers are like, you're supposed to be melodramatic. You know, people say like, I'm so glad to be a teenage girl because like, even if like society or like mainstream media or boys like are like, you're so fucking dramatic and like annoying and girly. It's like, that's the joy of it, you know? So I was thinking like that, but also like, I think everything just seems melodramatic. Cause whenever I do anything, I'm gonna kind of increase my volume so you can still hear me as I get applesauce. Because whenever I do something, like every now and then I'll think like, oh my god, in five years, like I'm gonna look back on me now and be like, you're so like dramatic, like you literally did not matter, you know? Like now I'll like cry over like a stupid math problem and in five years I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, I'm so serious, like pull it together, you know? I mean, we all go through things, move on. So that's where we're at today. Like, I'll see a stupid quote on Pinterest that's, like, so... F like, if I had, like, read that out loud, I'd, like, die of embarrassment. Kind of, like, corny. You know? But, like, if I was alone in my room, I'd be like, oh, my God. Like, this is so fucking deep. Like, this is... Like, this describes me. Like, they really get me. This voice is annoying. Um, and usually I'm like, you need to, like, get it together. Like, this is embarrassing, you know? But now I'm just kind of thinking... I can sit on this. I'm thinking, like... I think that's just what's like supposed to happen you know like you're supposed to be like a stupid dumb dumbass team oh my god you know what i saw i saw one of those things that was just like like what was it can i turn the camera down i think it's like really weird like awkward about a space yeah i saw something it was just like old people <laughs> telling like saying like their worst regret or like what they would like tell their old self if they could, right? And like one of the most like talked about things was like I would tell my teenage self to be stupider. You know what I mean? Like do all the stupid, stupid things. Not in like break the law, but like tell the girl you love her and like whatever, right? And I think that's like incredibly true. Like what else do you get to be like, you know, I was a teenager. 
just when else do you get to be so like unapologetically dumb and like melodramatic and like everything means the world to you you know and I'm not talking like just like school and grades which is what I've been kind of focusing on I'm also talking like friends and like which is obvious but also like what else like life life as a whole let me finish making this like it's stressing me out how gross this looks that's not cute get back to me in a sec. Also, I think my dog is eating paper, so. To my pointless rant but like okay you know when people say like you know like okay you know when old people are like you know life is just it happens like you just gotta appreciate the moment you're in whatever right but like I feel like when you're like young enough to be like really young and stupid but old enough to like have some level of awareness um i.e. being a teenager like everything is kind of at some weird crossroad where you kind of know you're being stupid and melodramatic but it doesn't but you can also like what is my dog eating but you can also rationalize it to some degree like i can only talk from my perspective which is like a teenage girl from new york <laughs> um but from where i'm sitting like life it just seems so daunting like you're telling me in like two years i'm going to college i'm gonna like live on my own and like in three years i'll be settled and like have a group of friends that like are kind of mine and like mine alone like none like my hometown or anything is really gonna be that connected to it and like in six years i'll have my own job and like i'll be doing taxes or like in 20 years you know fuck it like i'll have a child you know like, that's insane. I can't do that. I can't, I literally cannot get through a day without like forgetting something major. Like I can't get through a day without being like, hmm, let's microwave metal. Like, no, nah, -uh. bad, 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 you know? Like, I'm not fucking ready for that. But like, I'm gonna have to, you know? And like when older people say like, yeah, like my teenagers, whatever. Like, they get over it. To the rest of the world, like, beyond, like, I'd say maybe, like, 25-ish plus, right? Like, all this stuff is melodrama to them. Like, I'm sorry, you were, like, losing your shit over going to college? Doing ta Getting into college was, like, a big issue for you. Taking a test, you know? But to us, it's like, maybe not a food, just me. No, I'm not that conceited. This kind of feels too thick to be cake. Should I have more milk? Let's do more milk. Oh shit. But then I think like, if you really think about it, right? It is gonna work. Like I know some people say like, everything happens for a reason. Like life will always work out. And I think to some degree I believe that. But, like, also to some degree, I think it's more, I'm not saying that as much as I'm saying, like, taxes are really fucking daunting, but, like, no one hasn't been able to figure out taxes, right? Like, someone, like, you get there. Or, like, you don't get into college, like, lots of people probably haven't done that, and, like, they move on, you know? So, where, like, to me or to us, whatever you want to say, it's, like, a huge life-defining thing, to a lot of people, it's like, yeah, oh, that happened. It's like taking that AP test to a lot of people in my class, I think it was like, oh my God, like if I don't pass this test or I don't get a five, like I'm going to lose my shit, you know? Stop licking my foot. But now that it's over, it's just kind of one of those things that's like, yeah, I took an AP test once. Like it's kind of reduced to just like an afterthought, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does.
I think I'm gonna do this one, like cake color, just in case I want like not to be so dark and like depressing looking. But mostly I want rainbow. Is it because I'm gay? Yeah. Is it because Melissa's cupcakes are rainbow? Yeah, mostly, but you know, whatever you want to choose. My dog is staring daggers at me. But I think if I feed him this, he literally will die, so. You know, you make sacrifices. So blue. I feel like I need like a moral of the story. Like I'm trying to... Plain. Like I'm trying to think like, what's a nice cute bow to tie this little combo up with, right? But I have zero clue. Like, that's all I had to say. Just... <laughs> this is how all my videos end. Like, yep, that's what I think. God, this is so stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you. At this point, I'm just tired. I'm done. Um, effort was put in. They look mediocre at best, and they taste pretty meh, to say the least. But I tried, so I love you. See you next time. Hope you had a really good day with cupcakes and sprinkles. Bye.